What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, back with today's video, and we are talking about the best attack strategy for each of these top town hall levels. This is a topic I enjoy covering, and I've done attack meta videos in the past where I cover several of the best attack strategies for each town hall level. In this video, I'm just focusing on that one go-to strategy that you need to know if you have an account at that town hall level. Um, obviously, there's other stuff that's working, but this is kind of the bread and butter of each of these top town hall levels. Uh, we're going to do town hall 13, town hall 12, and town hall 11, just because that was what we had in our most recent war. Sorry to town hall 10. I will keep covering that, but just not in today's video. Um, this is a strategy that gained popularity right away, and I am a fan. It is the Yeti Smash uh, for town hall 13, and a lot is working at town hall 13 right now, but... The Yeti Smash is definitely a go-to. Uh, this was a little bit of an awkward start here. This is um, actually uh, our opponent attacking one of our bases. Um, kind of a widespread, the CC came out weird, but handles it well with the Wizards. And the Yetis are pretty tanky, as you can see. Basically, um, you don't have to do a Warden Walk, but I really like the uh, Warden Walk to start, just to create the funnel. Um, it does sometimes can take out more than the Queen can without having to use a Rage. Um, and uh, can reach an inferno sometimes because of that extra range that the warden has. But basically the idea is you're going to kind of create a funnel on both sides, typically using a walk on one side, and then just kind of do a P.E.K.K.A. smash like with the healers as you would, but instead of the P.E.K.K.A.s, um, you're going to be using those Yetis. And you can see this was definitely not the cleanest attack by any means, and a very interesting use of the Siege Barracks. Oftentimes we see... Uh, the slammer being used on the back end, but in this case, the siege barracks also works fine. Um, it deploys some troops to kind of help wrap up that end of the base, the pekkas, the, uh, the pekka, the wizards, and also those hogs, which come out delayed and kind of wor uh, work their way around the base as well here. Healers, fortunately for the attacker, get back onto the queen here, and um, that's going to allow her to kind of stay up longer and do some work on this town hall. I don't think she quite takes it out. Maybe she does here. Uh, the expo was nice enough to lock onto a healer. Uh, so really get some good value from the queen there. And uh, the royal champ is still up. Things wrapping around. Nice attack. Uh, not the smoothest, but worked well. And it shows the power of the strategy, guys. Um, cut the funnel on both sides. Send those yetis in with the healers. No bowlers needed. Uh, the Yetis do the job themselves, and then have something to wrap up the rest of the base, whether it's the Siege Barracks or a Slammer, um, to kind of you know finish off that back end that, as you carve out the middle uh, with your main push there. Okay, Town Hall 12, what do you need to know? Well, uh, let's go over here to base number 12, coincidentally, and take a look at this attack here by Sko Dinzolo. This is, and I think it was probably one of the prominent strategies before the update, and I think it will continue to be one of the go-tos even after the Town Hall 13 update in some of the new troop levels and the Siege Barracks that Town Hall 13 brings. Um, Queen Charge Lalo, definitely a go-to for a lot of skilled attackers, and it really allows you to kind of control the attack very well, more so than other strategies. The Queen Walk, uh, or the Queen Charge rather, yeah, you know, it's going to go through multiple layers. You've got to take out a big chunk of the base with it uh, for these attacks, typically. And you can see here, enters in on the Inferno. She's going to get the Town Hall. She's going to get the Defensive Queen. Doesn't even bring a jump because the uh, most of that stuff is reachable. You know, the Town Hall, uh, get those sweepers taken out. Eventually, she'll have to break through the wall. The King does a really nice job. That's kind of, I think, overlooked here. The importance of the King creating that funnel... Uh, taking out all of these buildings down here, which is going to push the queen deeper into the base. Uh, that's very, very important. And uh, that's the main use of the king here on this type of attack, because otherwise he's mainly just doing cleanup. There's not a whole lot else to use your uh, king for on a queen charged Lalo. But because of that nice funnel, she's going to continue through and actually target that inferno next, get even more value. Uh, so that's, that's the idea of the attack. You're going to do the charge, Try to take out, um, not necessarily the Town Hall, because you have the Warden to kind of cover your balloons over the Town Hall and over the explosion after it goes down. But um, some combination, uh, at least a handful of either the Town Hall, the Eagle, Inferno Towers, and 
perhaps most importantly, cutting out nice balloon pathing. Don't want it to be too wide. Um, want it to be relatively narrow, good defense pathing between defenses, good places to drop your hastes. Everything's going to kind of, you know, stay in an orchestrated flow through the base. It's all, um, you know, what defenses can target my balloons and how quickly until my balloons take out those defenses that are currently dealing damage to them. Also kind of a late stone slammer. I uh, might not have even needed it. I don't know if that was intentional, uh, but the slammer comes in really late to finish off this base. Ton of troops left up. Uh, very, very nice attack here. Fun one to watch for sure. Uh, Queen Charge Lalo. Don't sleep on it. Can work on a lot of bases at Town Hall 12. All right, Town Hall 11 as we wrap this thing up. Uh, we are taking a look at number 22, and um, I was a little bit torn over what to show because I easily could have shown Queen Charge Lalo. I didn't want to, you know, repeat the same strategy twice, even though it's two different town hall levels. And I, you know, maybe could have shown a minor type attack, but honestly, I have to kind of stay true to what I think is, is strong. This is the go-to for me at Town Hall 11. And um, not everyone likes the strategy, but I'm a big drag bat fan at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. Uh, basically for the last several months, I've been going to this all the time. And what you're looking for, I've talked about this you know, at length in the past, but you're trying to cut a funnel on both sides, push your dragon through, get them to the core, take out the eagle, defensive queen, get that kind of core under control as quickly as possible with the dragons pathing into the base, then in terms of back end, you want some type of bat uh, action, whether it's a direct deployment or a bat wave. Each can work, um, and each has its strengths and weaknesses, depends on the base, uh, obviously. But you can see the important thing is that there was a nice funnel made here. Um, it's always great when you can use the slammer with your dragons. It adds that extra you know, oomph to the, uh, to the push, and a nice ice golem tank on the back end doesn't have to try for a difficult freeze that way because the Ice Golem tanks that Wizard Tower. Always look for that. That's a great uh, thing to use to prevent you from having to use too many freezes. Did the direct deployment with the Rage on the Inferno. Just a Rage Freeze Bat uh, all at once. Takes out the Inferno. Not a whole lot of other splash to deal with those bats. So this, this one crushed this base. I actually was looking at this and I was about to call it and I saw it was already called. I was going to do this exact same plan. So I guess it really was screaming drag that, but um, those dead zone uh, portions of the base, if you can have your queen take out like the stuff outside of it, um, it really makes for good pathing because if the queen takes out this compartment, uh, everything over here is going to path nicely into the core because there's that dead space um, and basically amplifies what the queen does. It's almost like she took out two layers of the base instead of one in terms of pathing. So uh, look for that as well. Um, I could go into you know a long rant on drag bat, but I'm going to keep it at a high level high level overview for you guys. Um, but thanks for watching this video. That's kind of the attack meta, so to speak, the go-to's what you need to know for Town Hall 13, 12, and 11, in my opinion. And um, yeah, if you want to you know learn how to defend these types of attacks and other types of attacks, check out my Patreon. You get uh, base building advice. You get custom war bases each month and you get uh, attacking advice as you go through your war. So a lot to see there. Um, link is always in the description. If I give that a quick shout out, why not? Um, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.